So here you're fine. Here's the end of the small intestine where it's turned and then it becomes a large intestine, right? Mm -hmm. So this would be the ilium of the small intestine. And then, if you could feel, if, I'm not gonna open that because it'd be gross, but right there you could feel, with, like the, you could feel the ileocecal valve right there. Mm -hmm. Then this blind end pouch of the large intestine, that's the cecum, how it just ends in a blind sac. That's the cecum. Um, the appendix, the pig doesn't have an appendix. Okay. That's in us. Um, then you've got, the spiral colon, right? And then once you follow the spiral, so they don't have the ascending, transverse, descending. It's just a spiral colon. And then when you follow it out, and it ends, here's the rectum. And then if, once you follow the way down, you've got the anal, anus. That's it. And then can you show us the lobes of the liver? Um, you're not going to have to know the lobes of the pig liver. Um, in the human, there'd be the large right lobe. Right, right? Right, yeah. Left lobe. And in the human, the sm there'd be the caudate. It's the upper one on the back. And quadrate would be down by the gallbladder. And the, the gallbladder is right there. That's Zach right there. Okay. All right? And then you can find that just the bile duct, right? Okay. Right there. And then are we going to need to know anything more about the lungs, like the lobes? Of the nope. Lungs? I'm not going to ask that, but I could tease away and actually find a primary bronchi, right? If I actually cleared out the lung tissue.